Okay, let's take a look at this problem. And this is just an example of some of the basic skills that you absolutely need to know in order to be successful in algebra. And I do mean basic, okay? In other words, uh, unless you are like in the first few weeks of taking algebra, uh, you know, you should be beyond this. So if you're in some sort of algebra course right now, you should be able to knock out this problem pretty quickly. Uh, of course, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to do it. And I'm going to, uh, you know, show you step by step how to get the solution. But if you can't do this, then you're going to have problems in algebra. You need to go back and review this stuff, right? So it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world. It's like, oh no, you know, I'm gonna, you're gonna fail algebra. No, it's feedback because uh, this is where a lot of students make errors. Okay, this is just a one example of where a lot of students think they know stuff, uh, the foundational stuff of algebra, and then in fact they never really correct that and it kind of snowballs and then they have trouble, you know, over the course of taking algebra. It's really a tough time. You're always getting, you know, frustrated because you're getting the wrong problems because they didn't understand the basics. So let's get you to understand the basics. And, but first let's uh, get you to see if you can, you know, do this problem. And this would be a good illustration of some of the basic skills, not all the basic skills, but uh, some of the basic skills. So the technical way to state this problem would be, to evaluate this expression, okay, for x is equal to negative two, right? So that's what I'd like you to do. Evaluate this expression for x is equal to negative two, and uh, you'll come up with some answer, obviously, right? So if you wanna go ahead and uh, pause the video, give that a whirl. Uh, of course, I would encourage you to do so if you're in any sort of algebra uh, class, just to kind of see where you're at, see if you make any of these mistakes. And, uh, and then obviously we'll talk about the, the results here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested in my math help program, you can find the link to it in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses uh, ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here in about a week. But I also have many, many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, GRE, GMAT, Accuplacer, CLEP exam, Alex exam, maybe a teacher certification exam like the CBAST or Praxis, or nursing school entrance exam like the TEAS um, exam, there's a ton of different exams where people all walks of life have to take and guess what they, all these exams have in common? Math, <laughs> okay? Somebody out there thinks math is pretty important, which it is. If you don't do well in the math section, you don't do well on these exams. So let me help you prepare. Just go to my site, check out my full course catalog. I should have your exam. Now, if I do not, um, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Now, I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool math program. And then obviously, I hope those of you are having a difficult time in your current math courses. Now, if you truly are serious about wanting to get better in mathematics, then you gotta be serious about your notes. Um, you know, this is difficult because this requires everyday focus. But I've been teaching math for decades, and there's one thing uh, that I can point to that has remained consistent throughout those decades, and that's note-taking. Those students who take great math notes almost always do very, very well, okay? And the reverse is true. Those students who like to look at their cell phone, talk to their friends, or maybe do homework in another class during math class, well, guess what? If you're having a tough time in math, you can't be saying, oh, my teacher's terrible, I don't understand. Well, you're not paying attention. Uh, the only way to really have the discipline uh, to be paying attention is to, is to commit to an activity that's gonna help you do that. And the best one is uh, notes, right? It's all about focus. Focus is the key to success in anything you do. But um, as you're improving your notes, you can use my notes to study from. So those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. All right, so let's get to this little pop quiz here. And, you know, I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad here. If you don't get this right, don't be like, oh, my goodness, it's the end of the world. No, use it as feedback, okay? So here it is. Um, go ahead and evaluate this thing for x is equal to negative 2. Um, there's only one right answer. This phrase right here, I knew that, which I've probably heard, I'm thinking about 150 million times over the decades of teaching mathematics. Oh, I knew that. I knew, trust me, I 
just you just got to trust me, uh, Mr. Teacher. I knew that. Can you please give me full credit? Because I didn't know that, although I did give you the wrong answer. I knew that. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm sure I said this a bazillion times as well. Maybe not 150 million times, but you get the point. OK, let's get to it. And uh, if you don't want to see the solution just yet, um, pause the video. All right, let's get to first of all, what does this mean? So I'm going to break this up in two phases. So when you're asked to evaluate something, this is called an algebraic expression uh, in mathematics. Uh, I got a little equal symbol here, but this isn't what we call an expression. We're not solving an equation, so we're not solving for x. Uh, it's just what we call an expression, okay? So we have x here, and I'm saying, what is this, you know, evalu evaluate this for x is equal to negative 2. What does that mean? Well, wherever you see uh, these x's, you're going to plug in a negative 2. So you should um, have this set up like so, okay? So here I plugged in negative 2 for x and negative 2 for x and negative 2 at, for, uh, for x right there. Now, if you got this right, then I will give you a happy face, right? That's pretty good. All right, at least you knew to do that. So that's that's excellent. You knew how to evaluate. Now, let's see if you can get the actual correct answer. All right, so pause the video and um, go in and calculate this out because if you didn't understand this problem, <clears throat> now you know. So you're like, okay, now okay, I get this part. So we kind of break this up in two uh, phases. All right, so can you get the correct answer? Well, this is, you know, surprisingly, a lot of students make little uh, tiny mistakes and, you know, you get this stuff wrong. But this is basic algebra skills that you absolutely need to know. All right, let's get to it. So we got our negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. Okay, so what do I have to do first? Well, you got to do that PEMDAS stuff, right? Remember PEMDAS, that order of operations? All the basic stuff you learn in algebra. So uh, you go from left to right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and look to see if I have any powers. I have two sets of powers right here. All right, let's take on this guy right here. Uh, all right here, negative 2 cubed. What does that mean? That means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So negative times a negative is positive times a negative. This whole thing is going to be negative. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So this here is negative 8. All right, now let's take a look at this negative 2 squared. What does that mean? That's negative 2 times negative 2. That's a positive 4. So you can see... Why a lot of students uh, who are, have shaky fundamentals are going to struggle with this because, you know, you don't really know your order of operations. You don't know your positive and negative numbers. You're like, yeah, I know that stuff. I'm really good at it. But you know, if you mess up a problem like this, then, you know, you really don't know it as well as you think. OK, so go back and do some review on it. I guess the whole point of this whole video. All right, let's continue on. So I have uh, four times negative eight. Now I need to do what? Multiplication. Um, or division from left to right. So here I'm going to do my multiplication. So 4 times negative 8, positive times negative, that's negative, that's negative 32. And there's nothing to do over here. So I have a negative 4, negative 2. So a negative, a negative, negative. My answer is going to be a negative 38. 32, 4, and 2. Okay. Negative 38. Now, if you got that right and you were super confident about that, then, you know, I'm going to give you a nice happy face with a good old-fashioned 1984 Mohawk with extra hairspray. Um, yes, the 80s were an awesome time uh, to grow up. That was an excellent decade. But we did uh, use, uh, we did go uh, overboard with the hairspray. Okay, so I'm glad that the, those trends are gone. But that was a real thing. If you ever look at these little videos of the 80s, everyone's hair was just like, it was all poofed up. I'm not sure what we're thinking Um me personally, I mean, some of the stuff was, it was a great decade, but some of the hairstyles were not that great. But anyway, so back to algebra. If you got uh, negative 38, that's excellent, okay? So at least you got, you know, some sense of confidence that, hey, all right, no, I, I, can, I can do this basic stuff. The thing in algebra, what I've um, found, you know, over teaching for decades and decades and decades is those students who have those strong foundational skills are going to do pretty well. So what are some of those uh, strong foundational skills? Well, things like order of operations, okay, order of operations, if it's kind of abbreviating. Fractions is a huge one, okay? Students don't know fractions as well as they think so. I think they know them. Uh, positive and negative numbers. All this stuff that you think is kind of like just the basics are really, you know, there's a lot of students that don't know this stuff as well as they think so. So as well as they think they know it. Yeah, that's a better way of saying it. So if you... Um, 
you know, need additional help with this, I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel in my pre-algebra playlist on the, on these basic stuff. But for this little, uh, you know, video, if you, in some small, tiny way, you kind of liked it, even kind of liked it, please consider smashing that like button. I would definitely like that. And then um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics, okay? Uh, so if you like my teaching style, I'm happy to help you. My goal is to try to make math clear and understandable. I know a lot of you don't like math, I get it, but you're gonna have to learn it anyway. So let's have fun and let's make it understandable because honestly, what I've found um, is that students who don't like math don't like it because they don't understand it. But as soon as people start, you know, understanding things and light bulbs start turning on, they're like, oh, no, it's not so bad. Actually, it's not, I actually kind of like math. Right? You'll be surprised once you start getting some success in math that you might change your tune. And maybe one day in the future, you might get a math degree and you might be over here on YouTube making math videos. Who knows, right? All right. So, uh, but if you are truly interested in uh, my work and really want to learn algebra or any other course, then you definitely want to check out my math help program because that's where my best stuff's at. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.